started in about February of 2008. I couldn't sleep through the night. My nose was blocking uh, throughout the night. And uh, I'd wake up about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'd be up for the day. And that occurred from February, and I just struggled through it till about mid-July. And in mid-July, I called my, my kid's ENT, and he looked up my nose, and he says, you've got a golf ball up there. And that was the first time that I had any inclination of something bad going on. He said, you have mucosal melanoma. And being ignorant to cancer at that point, I said, well, that doesn't sound too bad. I went to the hospital, they, they took it out, and now I'm clean. And I always kind of use that as my mantra. If there was nothing in my body, I, I had the mindset to keep on going. And the first couple years, that's what exactly happened. Uh, the first tumor showed up in my nasal cavity. A year later, something showed up in my lungs. They removed that. After my oncologist threw everything at it, uh, he sat there one day and said, I'm sorry, um, there's no more conventional medicine for you that can help you out. It was either do nothing or take something, and that something being a clinical trial. It was pretty easy choice, I mean, because there was no choice. But Ippy gave me the first glimmer of hope. After several uh, infusions of Ippy, we did a set of scans, and at that point, um, all my tumors had shrunk close to 20%. And that was the first good news uh, since 08. My last couple doses of Ippy um, were not as Ippy and were not a trial drug. It was a uh, regular FDA-approved drug called Eurovoy. And um, unfortunately, um, my tumors grew again, and they pulled me off. It's just such an amazing thing being, being treated or not being treated. There were certain times during this seven-year spread that it was much easier handling your mental aspect when you were being treated. When you weren't being treated, when you didn't have a drug, when you weren't in radiation, uh, you were more worried that something, you know, something was gonna happen. At that time, my oncologist, Dr. Hody, kept on saying, be patient. Um, there are new drugs coming out. This, this research is changing day by day, and you have to be patient. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, and then in January, this would have been January of 2012, uh, he informed me that a new class, a new drug is coming out, uh, CureTech PD-1. Unfortunately, the drug company didn't think I was going to be a good candidate. You have to be your own advocate at this point. Uh, you're fighting for yourself, you're fighting for your life, you're fighting for your kids and your wife. Dr. Hody said, be patient. Merck's coming out with a PD-1. Um, you just have to be patient. I started on March 1st, 2012, and I remember the first, it was uh, my first treatment in June that year, that same year. Um, my kidney counts were crazy, um, my CPK were crazy, and they put me in the hospital for three days, and uh, the first night uh, that I was uh, there, Dr. Hody called me up and said, you're off. And. Um, once again, another tough time. So they did an ultrasound of the kidney. Um, Dr. Hody called me that day and said, we can't really tell you what's going on with your kidney, but some of your sites, we bumped into a couple of your sites with the ultrasound, and there's some crazy stuff going on. I said, crazy what? He goes, crazy good. He goes, your tumors are shrinking. A few weeks later, I had to do a full set of scans, and at that point, um, things had shrunk almost 50%. And, um, and then another few months after that, they said, all we can see is shadowing, which means there was something there, but there really isn't any more. I had a set of scans on May 11th, and and a whole bunch since then, of course, and I've just had the continued good news that nothing is there, and it's been, uh, it's been amazing. 
It's been a roller coaster ride. It's been a crazy ride. During this whole ordeal, my wife and I, we started doing small triathlons to raise money. So uh, our little team has raised close to a, over $100,000 in uh, three triathlons. And so uh, we've become very engaged in uh, helping the cause. And I mean, the reason why I'm here today and what I'd like to do more is um, help people who are in my situation and you know, tell them that uh, all is not lost.